Shalom. I'm your brother Yeramya from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect. Scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. This is just a quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai concerning what are you other Israelite camps going to do when the prophecy of the MOTB comes to pass? And, you know, I was watching the elder apostle Tahar, you know, watching his video in response to the brother. Uh, GMS uh, Virgin Island Straight Gate uh, subscribe, you know, both to the Elder Apostle, which uh, Elder Apostle Tahar's channel is GMS Declaring the End. All right, subscribe and be edified, and uh, and of course, subscribe to the, the Elder Brother as well, uh, GMS Virgin Island Straight Gate. Uh, but you know, I was watching the Elder Apostle Tahar's response, you know, pretty much uh, going into that video of that Eve. Uh, having a vision, you know, pertaining to the MOTB, you know, the RFID uh, micro C hip, you know, uh, pretty much paying, you know, scanning, scanning your hand and, and, you know, paying, you know, for your, your, uh, your, your groceries or whatnot. All right. And, you know, you can check out the vision, you know, on the brother's channel, uh, endure these last days with a, uh, exclamation mark to Bah. All right, subscribe to that brother's channel as well. All right, but not to make this video too long, you know, the spirit, you know, jumped on me, you know, pretty much to go into, you know, the prophecy of the MOTB. You know, what are you Israel, other Israelite camps going to do when the prophecy of the MOTB comes to pass? And, you know, to, to tell the truth, all right, or to be plain, to be frank, a lot of these other Israelite camps, you know, starting with their, their, their heads, their leadership, that's not teaching on the MOTB, even though they know that it is the RFID micro C hip. A lot of the people within these congregations, they're going to take that device, man. Okay. You know, they're not going to lean upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai during that time because a lot of, you know, these Israelite camps such as IUIC, uh, uh, ISUPK, you know, all these other uh, uh, Israelite camps out here, you know, they're not teaching the true names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because once this device is pushed, you know, those are the true names that you're going to have to call on in those days, ultimately to be, you know, protected and provided for and to be delivered in these times to come, man. All right, but like I said, a lot of these Israelite camps are not pushing the true name of the Heavenly Father, which his name is Yahweh, okay, which means he is, he exists, and they're not tr pushing the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer, okay, and according to Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord, Yahweh, pertaining to the Heavenly Father, is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it, and it's safe. So we're going to have to call on the name of our power to be safe during that time, man. Okay. And pertaining unto the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, who's coming back to deliver the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 on down to the great multitude. According to Acts 4 and 12, you know, there is no other name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved, to roughly paraphrase and that's the you know the name of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, his name is literally what he's about to do. He is the deliverer, man. Okay, and for all you Israelite camp leaders, and you Israelite camps not pushing the true names of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, hey, you're not gonna be defended during that time, man. Okay, a lot of y'all gonna end up taking that device, man. Okay. But pertaining to the hopeful elect, the ones who's depending on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, hey, the Lord is going to keep them from that time, man. The Lord is going to keep the hopeful elect from taking that device, man. 
And I want to read that real quick, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 10. And it reads, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, yeah, keeping the commandments of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai, you know, going out there as we've been commanded to do, you know, teaching his word and his truth, the hundred percent truth. Okay, giving the true names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, giving the whole truth, the whole role, the, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay, the sweet, the bitter. All right, going into prophecy, breaking it down, you know, correctly through the spirit, through the Rakakwadash. Okay, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Okay, pertaining unto your hopeful elect. I also will keep thee. From the hour of temptation. So the Lord is going to keep, you know, the hopeful elect. You know, you hopeful elect out there from taking that device. That's what it's going into. You know, the hour of temptation. You know, pertaining unto Revelation 13, 16 on down. You know, he calls of all, you know, that he being Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked elite. Okay. He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, a karagma, man. Okay, which is the RFID micro C hip, all right, in their right hand or in their forehead, all right, and that no man might buy or sell. You see, you know, this double Esau Edom is do doing away with the old, the, the FRNs, the Federal Reserve notes, and he's pushing, you know, this device, he's pushing a digital currency, man. Okay, this is what's coming, and this is what's about to be. Forced and, and 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 pushed on the whole world, known as the hour of temptation, that the Lord is going to keep the hopeful elect from taking that device, man. It says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, keeping the Lord's commands, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Take uh, keep you from taking that device, all right? Because you're going to have faith in your how about Shimei was shy in that time, man. Okay, it says." Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So it's going to try the whole world, man. Okay, no matter where you at here on the earth. Okay, whether you're in Babylon, the great America. Or across the waters in Africa, Asia, so on and so forth. Okay, in the islands. All right. He calls in all. Everybody's going to have to take this device. Everybody's going to be presented with either taking this device are being put to death, man. Okay? Plain and simple. And only the hopeful elect is going to have faith in that time. To depend on Yahweh Shemel Shai. And call upon Yahweh Shemel Shai to be delivered, man. Okay? So, um, I want to play this vision of this Eve real quick. I don't got it here uh, on the screen. I'm playing it from my other device. Like I said, I was watching... The elder apostle Tahar's response to the, you know, uh, the brother GMS Virgin Island Straight Gate. And, uh, you know, I looked up, uh, you know, the video pertaining to the vision of Eve. And I'm going to play it real quick and then we're going to get uh, into these scriptures. And, of course, I got a, a article queued up, you know, pertaining to this vision, this prophecy, man. All right. So playing this real quick. Or Will, you can hear it. This is weird, but I got to get it up. Okay, this is weird, but I got to get it out from me. So I had a dream a couple of days ago that the U.S. was, like, on lockdown and under governmental control. And we also had these, like, chips in our wrist that were used to, like, track us and see what we did on a daily basis. And also for us to, like, go in and out of working. And in the dream, it was me and my child, like, standing there in line behind all of these people. And all of us were, like, walking up to the kiosks and, like, going, boop, scan our wrists um, to go into, like, labor, basically. So, I don't know. I guess it was, like, a labor camp that we were set up in. But it was just very, very odd. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just documenting that I had that dream because... I don't know. God always talk to me in dreams and show me things. I'm not going to say that this is going to happen or whatever, but 
I do and have been dreaming for a while, as well as my son, that we are going to have some type of, like, civil war in this country. Um, and also some type of, like, stage of a world war or, I don't know, something, basically something where it's going to be us versus the Chinese. And very odd, very weird. Personally, I try not to get ripped up in the scary side of things, but I don't know, I did have a dream, and I just want to let y'all know, just prepare, have your stuff, like your kits, medical kits and stuff like that. And for all the people that um, follow me for like labor and delivery content, in the event of an emergency, I am going to share like stuff that pregnant people should have mm-hmm. in, the event, in the event, excuse me, of an emergency. But anyway, I just want to tell y'all about the weird dream I had. Not saying that it's gonna happen, but you can't ever be too safe. Yeah, how about Shimia was shy? You know, said that he would uh pour out his spirit. And matter of fact, I'm gonna read that real quick. Uh this is the book of Joel, chapter two and verse twenty eight. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. So the Lord poured out his spirit on this eve, man, to have the vision, you know, going into the MOTB. And it's spot on, man. Okay? You know, you're going to have uh, FEMA camps out here. And you know, the uh, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Revelation 2 and 10. Okay? You're going to have these FEMA camps, and you, you're going to have the vision of this devil enforcing people to take. You know, that karagma, man. And if you refuse, hey, it, you know, he's going to put you to death. Okay, the only two options, man. So the Lord gave her a heavy vision. All right, and we know according to prophecy, Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision pertaining to prophecy is yet for an appointed time. And Israelites don't understand that we are approaching that appointed time, man. For this vision, for this prophecy, man. Okay, why else are these countries getting their CBDC, central bank digital currencies, in line, you know, for this device, man? Okay, everything is moving digital, man. Okay, I remember, you know, uh, uh, probably like over six months ago, about probably about eight months now, you know, uh, at the plantation, all the vending machines, as big as this plantation is, all the vending machines... From the, the, the drink machines to the snack machines to the where you can get uh, the little uh, food that they provide in the little vending machines as well. All the machines, uh, it got a little note on it. And it says, we no longer take cash or coins. All right. You either got to pay with a credit card or you either got to pay by way of your device, your phone. You can put your credit card on your phone. So it's showing you that everything is moving towards digital. The FRNs, the Federal Reserve notes, the dollar bills, even the coins, the currency, all that's going out the window, man. Okay? The devil is, is rolling with his NWO, man. Okay? So Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision, the prophecy is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and is not this vision speaking. Okay? But at the end, the end of Esau Eden's rulership, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So it's telling us to be patient, to long suffer. And, you know, prime example, look how long Yahawashai has been waiting, you know, to return here to the planet Earth. Okay? And also look at the example of the elder apostles, man, the elder bishops, man. How long they've been, you know, prophesying and waiting for these things to come to pass. But look at where we're all today, man. They've been prophesying for what? Going on 40, 30 years. All right. Four to three decades, man. Prophesying this truth. And look at where we are today. These visions are vivid. They're here, man. They're speaking. Okay. And this is what we warn Israel about time and time again. This time is coming. It's going to come upon everybody, man. And in this time, what are you other Israelite camps going to do when this prophecy comes to pass? Nine times out of ten, if you're not of that whole four let, a, hundred, a ten out of ten, if you're not of that whole four let, you're going to take that device, man. 
you're going to take that Karakna. Okay? So, uh, playing this uh, news clip, because, you know, uh, Elon Musk, you know, he got a company called Neuralink. Okay, where, you know, his specific uh, duty, you know, he puts micro C-hips in people's uh, uh, brains. Okay, and, and the vision that the Eve had, you know, they had it within their hands. But that's what our forefather John the Revelator saw, man. All right, so playing this real quick. Elon Musk announced that for the first time his company Neuralink implanted a brain chip in a human as part of a preliminary clinical trial. This is fascinating. Neuralink aims to help people living with debilitating conditions communicate and control external devices with their thoughts. And I will read, sit down. I sit down. In, in January, Elon Musk announced that for the first time his company Neuralink implanted a brain chip in a human as part of a preliminary clinical trial. This is fascinating. Neuralink aims to help people living with debilitating conditions communicate and control external devices with their thoughts. And I will read, sit down. Uh -huh. You see how this devil, you know, he comes at you like a serpent. You know, he comes at you gradually. You know, he comes as if he's not coming to do harm. You know, it is his intent is that, you know, if you got if you're disabled, you know, eventually you'll be able to walk. You know, if you if you are uh, hearing impaired or, or you, you can't see, eventually they could put this C up in, in your brain and you can receive sight, vision. Uh, here and back, okay. But the, we we know one thing, as the scriptures tell us, in Revelation. Oh, I'm sorry, Salakia, in, in the book of Sirach, or the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter twelve, and verse ten, concerning our enemies, concerning this devil, it reads, "Never trust thine." enemy and all the heathen nations are our enemies but our primary enemy is esau edom man okay that the hatred that he has for you goes back to the womb of our forefathers uh, our foremother rebecca but it goes back to the womb when our forefathers was in the womb man okay the, the, the children struggled together you know in the womb you know and then you know when we came out you know, uh, uh, going into the blessing, you know, which Esau gave up, all right, the birthright, okay, the blessing, he gave it up to Jacob, and then, you know, Esau had that perpetual, the everlasting hatred ever since, man, seeking to slay his brother Jacob, okay, so your primary enemy is Esau, man, it says never, never, ever, 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 like Smokey said on Friday, man, all right, but all jokes aside, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusts, so is his wickedness. This devil is always going to be wicked because that's what he's been created to be, man. Okay, the spirit that is lifted up is not upright in him, man. Okay, what was that Habakkuk 2 and 4? You know, matter of fact, let me get that real quick because we was reading Habakkuk 2 and 3, right? Um, This is Habakkuk. Is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 4, it says, Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. Talking about this devil Esau, man. Okay, this devil is wicked as all hell. He's a perfect devil that Yahweh Shema Shai created, man. Okay, the, the, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go, they go, uh, uh, su uh, uh Soon as they be born, you know, they speak in lies to roughly paraphrase. I believe that's Psalms, what, 58 and 3? I'm going to get that instead of butchering it or quoting it, right? It's Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Yeah, because his soul ain't, you know, that's lifted up. is not upright in him, man. He's the wicked, man. He would never be good, man. Okay, so don't expect no type of, uh, uh, you know, favor from this devil. Don't expect no type of uh, good to come out of this devil. His, his intent is always to kill you, Jacob. Okay, Israel. Right? It says, Behold, the soul which is lifted up 
is not upright in him. Habakkuk 2 and 4. But the just shall live by faith. Yeah. Well, this wicked devil presents that micro C here. What are we going to do? Live by faith, man. Faith in who? Yahweh Shem was shy. All right. Well, he comes with that persecution. We going to live by faith. Okay. The scriptures say uh, we walk by faith, not by sight. We believe in the words of Yahweh Shem Shai and that the Lord will show up. Okay. Just as he show up in our everyday walk now. Okay. Through our afflictions that we go through now. Through our troubles that we go through now. The Lord, he is going to show up in the time of Jacob's trouble. During the hour of temptation, man. All right? Remember, Jeremiah 30 and 7. And he shall be saved out of it. The hopeful elect, man. Okay? The hopeful elect going to be saved out of this time. All right? But, um, you know, let me go to the comment section real quick. Uh, because I was just looking just to see where the minds of the people are concerning this matter. Uh, you know, you only had a few people bring it up, but you know, these are people that's not in the truth, man. People of the world stating that what is the MOTB people of the world can see that this is the MOTB man, but you got Israelites that can't see it. You got Israelites denying that this is not the MOTB, these brain C hips, or the or the, the C hips in people's uh hands, man. Okay, look, look, look. Just click on, you know, the avatar of this comment. This is a a person, a man or a woman of the world, man. No content pertaining unto the truth. But guess what? He can see that this is the MOTB, man. But you got Israelite camps that can't see it, man. Scary, man. Showing the Lord got a, a strong delusion on them, man. Okay, a spirit of slumber on these Israelites out here, man. Okay, you keep, you keep scrolling down. Look, another person. MOTB system. You see? These ain't uh, uh, men of the Lord teaching the truth. These are worldly men or, or women. Saying that this, uh, look, beginning of the MOTB. All right. So you Israelite leaders teaching against that this is the M this is not the MOTB man. The Lord gonna destroy you niggas, man. Y'all gonna end up taking it, and the Lord gonna destroy you niggas, man. Okay. Well, for you hopeful elect out there, as the apostles and the elder apostles and the elder bishops and men on down have been saying, do not take this device, man. Okay, because your, your judgment, man, Revelation 14, 9 and 10, being destroyed with fire and brimstone but before the presence of the Lamb and the holy angels, man, before Yahweh Shai and the angels. Okay, uh, Revelation 16, 2, you all get that grievous sore, you know, before you get destroyed, man. Okay, so hey, there, there's penalties behind taking this device, man. Okay. And not taking heed into the warning of what this prophecy is, man. Okay? You're going to have a lot of Israelites that's going to take this device, man. Okay? We pray and hope that the Lord keeps us from taking it, man. All right? And uh, playing a little bit more of this. I sit down, brother, with the patient who received that implant in an exclusive broadcast interview. He is with us now. Elizabeth Musk announced that for the first time his company, Neuralink, implanted a brain chip in a human as part of a preliminary clinical trial. This is fascinating. Neuralink aims to help people living with debilitating conditions communicate and control external devices with their thoughts. And I will read, sit down, I uh, sat down rather with the patient who received that implant in an exclusive broadcast interview. He is with us now in Atlanta, Georgia. Will, good to see you. And, and this story here, it's a big one. It certainly is, DeMarco. It's, uh... The future is arriving faster and faster these days, and it was my honor to get to sit with Nolan Arbaugh, who was a fantastic subject, a great guy. He's been through a lot, paralyzed for nearly eight years now, but he says this Neuralink device has really changed his life. I didn't have anything to wake up for in the morning, um, and this has changed that for me. In a GMA broadcast exclusive, 
Nolan Arbaugh, the first human implanted with a Neuralink chip in his brain, is telling his story. I accepted that I was paralyzed and that that was my life. I always held out hope that it would all get better. At 22 years old, Nolan says he dove headfirst in waist-deep water, struck something, and sustained a spinal cord injury. He couldn't move from the shoulders down. From the time of your injury until earlier this year, what was your daily life like? I mean, one thing about being paralyzed is that there's a lot of time to sit and think. And so I thought through basically my whole life and realized all the mistakes I'd made and what I could do better. Then, just last year, Nolan, now 30, receiving a life-changing opportunity. One day, one of my buddies from college uh, called me up. Um, we talked pretty regularly, and he was like, hey, Neuralink, they opened up the human trials. Um, and I said, what's Neuralink? Neuralink, co-founded by Elon Musk, is an experimental implantable brain computer interface, or BCI. A chip surgically implanted by a robot and connected by threads to a patient's brain that allows the patient to control a computer or smartphone with their mind. And this is all from there to there. Yeah, man. <laughs> wow. Neuralink is not the only company working on this technology. Several others are also testing their BCIs in paralyzed volunteers. Nolan now joins that small group as Neuralink's first patient. I was just very happy that I would be a part of something that I believe is so monumental and this next step forward of helping people with paralysis. What can you do now with the chip implanted that you could not do prior? Um, I can control a computer just like anyone else can, which is not something I was able to do beforehand. You just played some music? Yeah, yeah man. That's awesome. So, you know, you can, you can finish out the video if you want. But you see, you know, right now he can control, you know, the, the computer, play games, play music. Whatever you could do on a computer, he could pretty much do it from his mind. Okay, and eventually they want to get to this technology, you know, the intent of this technology. You know, they pretty much want to play the most high and, and, you know, eventually allow people, you know, to walk, so on and so forth. Give people their vision back, so on and so forth, man. Okay, but this is Esau Edom trying to play Yahweh by Shemiah with Shai, man. Okay, this is Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or the Most High, or is or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, shrewing himself that he is God. So Esau want to be like the Most High, and you know he got this technology to try to, you know, forward himself as being as the Most High, trying to uh, bring in you know these uh, left hand miracles, man. Okay, we we already see this devil done set up his image as the, the heavenly father, his son, you know, the, the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, he set up himself as being, you know, the Israelites, okay, the children of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And now this devil has this technology, technology to deceive you, man. Okay, and matter of fact, jump it down, 2 Thessalonians 2 and... Uh, Verse 8, it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. It says, Whom the Lord, and starting with the wicked elite, whom the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which is the prophets, all right, via the Rekakwadash, the Holy Spirit. It says, And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's when Yahweh Shai comes with the heavenly host to take this double down. All right, but verse 9 is the point. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. You see, these devils is working on the left hand, man. Okay, not knowing that Satan himself works for the Heavenly Father, man. They're doing these left hand miracles, all right, this uh, this magic, okay, via the technology, all right. But, but Satan works for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and this will be a part of this devil's uh signs and lying wonders man okay you'll be able to walk again man you'll be able to see again okay you'll be able to, to move your your hands your arms again man okay this is all his his signs and lying wonders man okay which will come to no avail man and we understand this man 
Okay, this devil really wants to use this technology to control you, man, to track you, all right, to see every purchase, everything that you do here on the planet Earth. Because like I said, he wants to be like the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man, okay? Uh, but, but you know, through the Spirit, we understand this. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us. All right, let's talk about this devil Esau, Edom. Okay, working on the left hand, all right? It says, for we are not ignorant, and to be ignorant means not to know, of his devices, his wicked intents, his plans, man, his thoughts, all right, his NWO that he's trying to set up, man, okay? We already got the playbook. We already understand what this devil is trying to do here in the earth, man, all right? According to prophecy, man, all right? According to the will of the Lord. Because this devil ain't doing nothing but following, you know, in, in the plans of what Yahweh Shemal Shah already forespoke, man. This devil ain't doing nothing new. Okay, we already saw the play before it happened. Okay, so we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. And that's via the Rakakwadash, man, which gives us understanding, man. Okay, so I'm just reading this, uh, this article. I ain't gonna spend too much time on it. I'm just reading a little bit. It says, FDA gives Neuralink, which is Elon Musk's company for the brain C-hips. Uh, FDA gives Neuralink a second shot at human brain C-hip. A case of keep digging deeper actually being the right move for Elon, potentially. It says, America's Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has reportedly approved Neuralink uh, to implant at, uh, you know, to put the C-hip and updated brain C-hip in the second human patient. Uh, the Elon Musk startup also hopes to perform 10 try tryouts by the end of the year. So this devil want to put 10 more people, you know, in, in the experiment, man. Okay. So what, what are you Israelite camps going to do when this prophecy of the MOTB comes to pass, man? Okay, I can tell you one thing that they're going to understand, all right, is that Great Millstone had it right the whole time. Starting with our head elder apostles and elder bishops, Great Millstone had it right this whole time, man. All right, that's via the Rekakwadash, the Holy Spirit. That's through the power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so ending off. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 33. And it reads, And when this cometh to pass, pertaining unto prophecy, lo, it will come. The word of the Lord will be fulfilled, man. The prophecy of the MOTB will be, uh, 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 you know, uh, executed here on the earth. Okay, it's going to try the whole earth. And only the whole full elect is the one that's not going to take it, man. Okay? It says, uh, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. And not just any prophet, man. A true man of the Lord. A true prophet of Yahweh Shem Shai. You got a lot of false prophets out here, man. Okay? And from the false prophets to the wicked two-thirds that don't want to take heed to the heathen, everybody going to understand. That there have been a prophet among them, man. All right, so Lord will, this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I'm going to end up by giving all praises unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Call it Layim La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect. Scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. And once again, um, let me try to pull the Elder Apostle Tahar's channel back up. For any newer brothers out there who don't have the, the Elder Apostle's uh, channel. Uh, the Elder Apostle's... Salat. Salat. Y'all on TV. Uh, the head Elder Apostle's channel. Uh, the Elder Apostle Tahar's channel. Uh, GMS declaring the end, you know, subscribe to the Elder Apostle 
and the brother that he was making a response video on was GMS uh, Virgin Island Straight Gate. And the brother that uploaded the vision of Eve having the vision of the MOTB is the brother endure these last days, exclamation mark, uh, okay. uh, exclamation mark, to ba. So Lord, will this is edifying to you, hopeful life. Shalom.